Yo, what is up, my gummy worms? And we're finally back with more Pokemon Rejuvenation. Although the series is most likely gonna end tragically due to the fact that the FTC seeing copper laws, but hey, if they actually watch my videos and uh, so videos and actually that Pokemon Rejuvenation isn't like Pokemon other Pokemon games all were born because technically, if you really think about it, the first few first few episodes we literally the train explosion. There was a terrorist attack. Act, a lot of stuff happened in Pokemon were born when a lot of stuff is having Pokemon Rejuvenation. Both stuff is not really good nor child friendly. Also, keep note, this even though Pokemon Rejuvenation, Pokemon Reborn, weren't a fan games, but they are not with the lighthearted traditional Pokemon story, right? And if you are a child, you should not watch this video. Yo, know, because frankly, there's gonna be a lot of bad things. So go ladder, a lot of bad things happening, a lot of weird things happening, and a lot of funny things happening. Please keep that in note as we continue playing through this game. But anyway, last episode, I can't remember. But I know we're looking for Ribbon Beam so that way we can fi find Crawly, Crawly, and then get him some help. And also, this egg's gonna hatch soon. Soon. All right. So without further ado, let's find him. He has to be somewhere. I don't know why I have this. Oh, this weird pendant. I mean, it was from a serious one named Andrew. I can't remember why she, she gave it to me, but... Let's ride. Oh, oh. oh yeah, I need to get our citrus berries. Still need to do that. Whew. Whoa. There are Ludicolos here. This is very ludicrous. <laughs> that was a horrible button. Oh, how dare you enter to my crib of melody. A place of tranquility, peace, affection, and dance. I spin for grooviness. I spin for inner soul. And yet, yet again, you um to stop me from spinning? Um, no. Well, I'm afraid that I, that like the world, I keep on spinning no matter what happens. Get ready, Eddie, and let the music play. Lights, okay. How are you doing this? Camera! Ribbon me? I'm really asking here. How do you get the camera? And I'm really worried here. Action! Oh my god! What the hell? But you know what? Fine! Battle on! I swear, it feels like I'm in a movie rather than actual, actual... My actual life being played out here. Battle, battle on! Call it! Oh yeah! Fire thing! Aurea? Moonblast. Dang it, that didn't kill! What? Wait, really? Oh, yeah, I forgot about the, about the grass damage. Field effects. Oh, shoot. Whew. And Since we're here gonna be using grass, I better start sending out my little aerial ace. A Ludicolo. No more! And no more air cutter. Scarlet. Boom, baby. Oh, 
Oh no, Noir! Don't get boys. Jeez! Noir, hold on! Oh yeah! Oh, and Barry Power! But Scarlet, I need that fire thing up and ready! Now, Air Cutter! Critical! Oh, come on. Come on! That was so much critical! No more! At this point, I really should stop really bringing her into battles. I, I mean, she's at level 45. If anything, she should be... She's anything. I really should just wait till I get my 50 badge at this point, and then get out stronger Pokemon, but she's kind of the only point that I got that's actually... Kinda of decent shit. But then I use psychic power. Go, Sabrina. They don't want an ember. Sabrina. Signal beam. Why do you have this many oracorios? Who uses that many? This is two oracorios. Ain't gonna do it, dang it. But down, signal beam. Fine then, it's time for some foul play. And one more signal beam to wrap this up. <laughs> Boom, Sakalaka. Oh, yeah. Nani. I only have two more Pokemon left. Boom. Let's wrap this up. Ice Fang. And thank God I have ah, Psychic! Get out of here, Artaria. Wait, second times are strong against Bug Titans, right? Why are Sega types not strong against bug types? Of course it's for later. But rather than little icy thing, how about I give you a bit, bit of a spark and a little bit of psychic on the side? Looks like I got rid of the trash! I'm joking. Although I've never used both around of it, so I don't really know if it's a good Pokemon. I mean, yeah, probably it's trash. I mean, you guys can tell me in the comments. I'm into whether if it's whether if it's the Pokemon to use or not, but mm. how dare you? Ooh, I say, how dare you? No, no, I won't forget this. No, no, for a darn second. Oh, I will make you pay. Oh, yes, I will make you pay. Oh, good, another person who infinitely wants to crush me and destroy me. How many more is that? Uh, 
Shoot, I have been a long, long journey. Journey. There's a lot of people who want my head on a pike. But I. What? You want? Want to know where Crawley? Yes, that's all I want to know, dude. He went to his super secret idol to get his secret Pokemon. So he said he was going to get his ace to take care of things himself. He's tired, oh so tired. Tired of all the troubles that plague him. But where would that be? I bet you'd like to know. Yes. I don't have a choice now, do I? Yes, you don't. Ghastly. Horrible. Ghastly even. Charlie secret. Secret hiding spot. What is in the marsh? Much behind Karatos. Find Kratos Mountain. The only way to get there is by boat, so consider that. Guys, we're gonna need a boat. I decided to help look. I decided to help out and look for one too. Looks like you found him. Yep. Banana was a little upset, but she'll be fine. Okay, good. I lead inside that one though. Hey yo! Did you find out where Carly went? Sacred Marsh in Kratos Mountain. Mountain. We need a boat. Yep. Behind Kratos Mountain? I've never had a place, place like that before. And I live in Shaden Village, so... Can't hurt to look, and I don't think we're... I'm gonna lie about that. Too much! You three are too much! I'm a lot of things. I'm a free spirit. I'm a dancer! But there's one thing I, I know I'm not. It is. It's a liar. I guess we'll take his word for it. Let's go ask August... Start taking us there. Okay, let's go. Shoo doop. Who's that? Hello and welcome. My name is Professor Jenner. I like to study many things about Pokemon, but there's one thing I've thing I've been thinking about lately. The psychology of Pokemon is fascinating. Pokemon may find other Pokemon. Why not treat them as companions, enemies, or even family? In some regions like Alola, Reborn City, and Avium, Pokemon gather in communal groups often. Actually, he's not wrong about, about that. If I remember correctly, in the Pokemon 2019 anime, the main, the one that just came out recently, Episode 1 shows a P Pichu being taken care of by a Kangaskhan. So yeah, the psychology is actually quite fascinating. Whether it's whether it be, me be for mere social reasons or a means of mutual beneficial survival, it's all there in another in our world. But can Pokemon understand the true core concept of friendship? Hmm. Do Pokemon understand the concept of deception and betrayal? Do some Pokemon act in community need to benefit themselves only? Do Pokemon understand the meaning of misunderstanding? How this is what inspires me to learn more. How similar are Pokemon on the people? Are we diff different at all in that aspect? Who can say? Huh. That was interesting. I'm actually questioning why we got that introspective on Jenner here and now. Hmm. Truly, it is bizarre. Anyway, I gotta heal my poker buds and stir all beat up. Heal my Pokemon. Thank you. Now we go back to AV Avium and start doing some actual logistical work. That's good to know I can finally walk back and walk back and not have to worry about some dumb more vines anymore. Oh yeah, I did Psycho Sax to give it a Divine's lines off screen. I'm lazy, don't judge me. Well, rather judge me, but I won't be. <sighs> you guys you guys know know my know my deal by now. 
Oh, yeah, I just realized I can surf now. Surfing. Go. Talk started. Oh no, I'm just going back. It looks like we have some repels. Bingo, sir! Now let's red. Hoop! Blocked. Dang it! Then let's surf again! Boom, boom, boom. Alright, we're at the Zen Battleship. Augustus, what? Is that a secret shore behind Sheridan? Never heard of such a thing. But if you're sure about this, yes, I guess we could give it a go. Let us set sail. Yay! Whoa. What I feel like I should know this exists. Not 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 like logistically be like, oh I should have known what? Oh my egg Whoa This one's quite unique. Yes. Oh yeah. Say hello to the new member of the team. Red only and only manga fans will get this joke or reference. But well, I think I was just told something that I skipped over it. But anyway, yeah, let's check out Red, the shiny member of our team. Quick tempered, and knows amnesia. That's pretty good. Surprise. We are certainly given a quite a unique one. The wetlands. Hmm. This seems most like I need to go through another readjustment. Meaning, this is a, this swamp is where Carly likes to hang out, according to his father. Yeah. I guess, I mean, I guess, I sort of can see the appeal. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Except for that gnarly stench, it smells like sulfur. Well, we are in the marsh. The quicker we find call it, I'll eat the quicker we can get the heck out of here. Yeah, let's hurry. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. I guess I'm the only odd one who likes, to, likes the appeal of a little distant type of nature. <laughs> oh wow, a Carablast! I'ma beat you up! Or rather, if you survive my fire thing, thing, thing and I mean take it full head on, not dodge it, then I'll catch you. Alright, you're a cat move. Good thing is, I always keep a huge big spare Pokeballs. I really should check to make sure I don't have... Wait, it sank. Oh, we're in a marsh field! We only have great bones, stuff and Pokeballs. Why didn't I snuck up? Oh, healing items. Luckily, that Carablast was an easy catch. Yep. Say hello to Kara. Nope. On. Although it doesn't shock me, it's in the environment. Whoa, a crow gunk! No, 
know, I also I always had this personal little headcanon about Brock Brock Skullgrunk being a girl and kind of being being like very emotionally attached to him. To him and Krogunk whenever Brock was was acting, with, acting up over another female, you know, Krogunk would just come out of his well and just jab him. Jab him I'm out of jealousy. I would say that personal headcan about that. Just feel like I talk about it. Unless it was actual can that croak Rox's Krogunk's actually a girl, which would make it ten times more funnier. <laughs> Seriously. Not damn it, Rock is kind of diverse. He's a rock type gym leader, gym leader, gym leader who wants to become a Pokemon doctor, but has such a versatile team. It's kind of pretty awesome. Whew. Oh, what's, what's this? Hey, what's this? I found one absorb bulb. What's an absorb bulb? Oh, it boosts. It boosts the user's holder's hit by a water type move. Boosts their special attack. That's crazy, noisy, bizarre. Oh, it's the bootleg water ground type Pokemon. Okay, I'm joking. I don't hate Palpatoad, nor nor Typo, nor Seismitoad. Oh, but. <laughs> By God, I will always see him as a bootleg. Sorry, Swampers just DOG. G, G, I understand they were trying to make more water ground to, and Pokemon to make them more cool. Rather, to try and get more diversity, but come on. Swampers is the superior version of all of them. Oh, yeah, Gaston's water ground type, but I forgot because I don't really use that Pokemon. <laughs> Oh hey, it's Cobra. Very creative name there, Game Freak. Very creative. Ooh, I found one ancient book. It's another ancient book. What? I have an ancient book? A book that is said to the Translate Agent Grafria text. Oh, well, that's ironic. I mean, I gave away the ancient book. I, book that what book that one of the elite eight gave one of the elites gave me, gave me, me, and yet, and yet here I am. I found another one. It's almost as if fate itself is. Me, I should really learn this language, as if it's destiny. So if I ever lose this one, I'll just come back and get the other one when I, when I found there. Hmm. Huh, it's sad we can't go back to that black steep light. You know what? Let's never go back to that island. That island's bad. That bad. That bad island. Bad island land. And let's never go back there. Mostly, not mostly because it brings bad memories. Bad memories of bad thing. And you're most like wondering, Connor, what are we doing? We just seem to be going around the place. That's the point. You see, young Padawan, I am. Oh great, I can't rock line, so I can't really use that yet. You see, I'm actually trying to find a Pokemon here that I know should probably still be in this so be here. Based on trying to find a muck if I remember last version, I, 
Action. I had a monk kip in the game. Game, which was actually really cool because it was just awesome to have a monk kip, but it's not here, so I most or I most likely need a move, need to move rock climb to, you know, or to get it. It answer so. <laughs> Since I have only one Pokemon that knows no surf and no Pokemon that knows rock climb. Move useless! Hmm. Please insert card key. Oh, wow, I gotta go back. <laughs> Don't you miss the fact that I made, like, Around 30 minute videos of this, me being an idiot and trying to do my thing. Right now, there. We're back. No, seriously, how much money do I have? I, I should have enough to get Pokeballs. Well, I'm not that economically broke. I mean, yeah, Rejuvenation robs me of every penny and I'm forced to continuously buy healing items, but I, I can't be that broke. I'm not even that broke! Yet. Oh yeah, Rejuvenation has the autosave feature. That unlike gang unlike Sword and Shields, it doesn't destroy your destroy your entire sys system. Oh yeah, that I forgot to mention I may or may have mentioned it, but may or may not have mentioned it. But if you have Sword and Shield, turn off autosave for your life. For life, and if you care about you, and to actually have to continuously use that console, don't ever have it on ever again <laughs> until Game Freak patches it. Also, though, if you heard of the Gigantamax raids being super easy now, because now you can just just farm for the Pokemon you want. No, it is. You won't. In five minutes, you won't get a Gigantamax Pokemon. Trust me, it took me nearly an hour to get G Max Corviknight. Although I caught the guy, seriously, first try too. Af if, oh no, you gotta be kidding me! I thought I gave one of my thought I brought a Pokemon with the move cut. All right, one of my homies should know it. Oh yeah, red, <laughs> coming in to learn a useless move. Yeah, red, you should learn it. Red, use cut! Good job, buddy. Alright, uh, right, we're gonna have to full find a move deleter. And then we're gonna have to need to give him a hard skill. Oh my gosh, I hate that old those old ancient methods. Although then again, maybe HM moves can actually be removed. Please let them be removable. I don't wanna actually keep that move. Seriously, a good old-fashioned axe. No one decides to bring them with them. Just... <clears throat> Alright. We are here. We are there. We are everywhere. Oh, Mel! Alita! These machines. Their team's done? Connor, don't these machines look familiar? Yeah, they're from Team Zen, right? Huh? You've seen these machines before? Yeah! Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, these machines look it's like similar to the ones in the Zem Lab. It's probably only a little far fetched, but I think I may have an explanation for this. Really? I'm curious to hear what you you may have. After Connor's managed to dispose of the generator, a woman named Crescent appeared. After Crescent teleported us out of here, a ton of explosions could be heard behind the mountain. We tried to search around the mountain, but we couldn't find anything. It's possible. So the explosions blew all the debris into these wetlands. 
this death? That definitely sounds plausible. Wait a second. That person you just mentioned, you just had a crescent, right? Yeah, the girl with the weird go weird weird Pokemon. I'm going got to tell. Got to tell. Tell. That's always with her. That same person who also gets lots of that weird vibe and I and may or may not have a thing for me. What? Come on. The way she looks. Yeah, at least I'm pretty sure. She's still causing trouble. Why is she? Wait, you know Crescent? I've spoken to her quite a few times, actually. But that's a whole nother conversation we can do. Do that after we are done with our business here. Got it. Hmm. Hoop, hoop, hoop. Surf. Oh man, this is gonna get really annoying. Especially with the rain and the fact we're in a swamp area. Alright, got an absorb bulb. Nope. Got another absorb bulb. He's gonna be very useful. Hey, a pretty wing! That's useless. Ah, oh, dang it. What is a Zen facility doing here? You know what? We're not going in there just yet. Surf. Stone Risk. Uh. Okay, I checked. There's nothing here. Now we're going to into that lab. That facility. That Team Zen facility. And you're also like wondering, Connor, how do you know it's a Team Zen facility? Because. I can see the future. Okay, no, not really. I just played like, through this whole part of the game be before. I've literally just using future vision at this point. <laughs> but it has to be a Team Zen facility. So, the, the, logistically speaking, and since Team Zen, since since Kata allowed Team Zen to be in Crottles in Sheridan Village slash Crottles Mountain for such a long time, I'm, they most likely. Come on. Uh, I'm not. Goodbye to you guys. This could be a Team Zen. This could be a Team Zen structure. If that's the case, we need to be extra careful. Keep P I U. Just case you that I it sounds like someone's talking. Great. This place is occupied. We can't just like our teens and continue whatever they're doing here. Let's team up and take them down. Get it. Come on, you guys, get a move on. And if we don't hurry up, Nas is Nas will really get angry at all three of us. We need to get these data files as to our Grand Dream City bench. Ren? What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, yeah, that's my name. Hey, what do you want? What? Ren? What the fuck are you doing? What? How? how what? What's going? I don't. What? Ren, stop being retarded and answer the question. What are you doing? Ren, I don't understand. You're working with Teen Zen. How? 
How are you alive? Really? You're alive! Yeah, I know. That's shocking. Shocking too. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh my gosh, Mel's alive. Like, Mazel Tov. What the fuck are you doing? You're, you're, I mean, she, she lied to me. Why in the world are you working for Team 10? The enemy. That's everything they've done. You, you go in the trance like this? I, is that all you have to say for yourself? Bell, no, you don't understand. Then please explain it to me. Explain to everything. Bring it back in, you son of a bitch! Of course, so, poor, poor Pat will be off, is offline now. Um, uh, Mel, are you okay? No, 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 she isn't. Because we literally have a traitor in our midst. Okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm far from it. I need to find Ren, find Ren, and, and have him explain everything. I have to know why he joined Team Zen. I'm sure he's still somewhere in this factory. We're just going to have to look for him now. Was all. Y yeah, you're right. Let's continue with our plan, and then. Yeah. <sighs> Why does everything have to get complicated? But anyway, that's it for this episode, guys. You know the drill: like, subscribe, comment, share this video. Video, slap a monkey, monkey. You know the drill. So anyway, this is your boy, Kind of Alone, signing off. Bye.